So, chapter four. Uh, tackling the crime and classes and uh, lowering injury and costs, security and injury and events. I don't, I, I don't believe the Democrats are going to tackle the climate crisis. Because Kamala Harris has said recently she's not for banning frackling, fracking. The Biden administration was not for banning fracking. And so we're still going to sub subsidize and support the oil industry and the fossil fuel industry. And that is the one bigger and major contributors to the climate crisis. I would also uh, argue that like capitalism is one of the biggest contributes to crime crisis as well too. That's why I don't think like um, the Democrats are ever going to like uh, be able to like tackle the climate crisis efficiently, for my taste. I'm sorry, fucking liberals. I have fucking high standards. The f the world is on fire. We are destroying the environment and making it inhospitable for humans. We're not destroying the planet. The planet is very resilient. The planet will still be around, but we probably won't. Anyway, let's start with Chapter 4. Every year, the decimation has caused by climate change grows more urgent. Across the country, Americans experience the dire impacts of climate change. Food, floods, and storm and wipes out more homes uh, off the map. Uh, wildfires like uh, smoke spreads thousands of miles, forcing millions of shelter indoor to indoor shelters. We had the worst droughts for in thousands of years and the fastest sea level rise over a century. Last year, it was Earth's hottest year on record. Natural disasters and extreme weather have like cost Americans over one trillion dollars in damages in just the last seven years, and they and they hit the most vulnerable among uh, us the hardest seniors people with disabilities people in neighborhoods without resources to like blunt the impact funny how each size wrongly believes that democrats like care or when everything they they, they they everything they with if they will fail and they'll keep their promises again many liberals i think including steve shies said i knew we were only going to get 14 hundred dollars the liberals are used to like the Democrats breaking their campaign promises, but yeah, we have to we have to vote for like a bite uh, for Kamala Harris to like uh, prevent like uh, Donald Trump in order to like uh, get in the White House. I understand that argument. So if I was in swing state, I would have to like vote for like Kamala Harris because like my vote matters in the swing state. Um, that was in Arizona, North Carolina, uh, Georgia, uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, even, uh, no Michigan for sure. Wisconsin, Minnesota, probably Illinois, maybe Illinois, Illinois might be safe. I mean, it was close. Uh, the Maine could be close. Iowa could be close. It was like really close as well too. Oh, I don't know how close it is to Texas. I don't know if Texas will ever turn blue. I don't know if Florida is going to ever turn blue again. Um, hey, but it's like around the world as well, too. The people that like uh, contribute, the uh, countries that contribute the least to the climate crisis, as well, too, they're going to face the, like, uh, they're going to be the first ones who have to like flee from their places of residence and homes because of the climate crisis people in the global south people in africa people in like latin america people in southeast asia the poor countries honestly the, the poor countries that got colonized honestly they're going to face the brunt of like the climate change disaster as well too but like they, they contribute the least to that uh, crisis Anyway, continue on. The climate crisis then is decades in the making, and and, and the existential threat to the future of like generations who deserve better, um, is a consequence of delay and destruction by people like Donald Trump and his friends in big oil, who still deny that like we were all, uh, we we're all seeing it happen, right, happening right before our eyes. You're not uh, going to ban fracking. You also kind of work with big oil. Maybe you're not going to be as friendly to big oil as Trump, but you also work with big oil, don't you? Um, continue on. President Biden is delivering the most aggressive like, climate agenda in history. His landmark legislation has unleashed a clean energy boom that's slashing pro uh, po 
pollution, lowering energy aid costs, and it has already created over like 300, like 50, 300,000 good paying like American energy, clean energy jobs. And honestly, I think like Steve Sipes is just a liberal and unfortunately just believes in the Democratic Party. He believes that the Democrats are a force for good and like they can actually be swayed, persuaded, uh, change this one thing. Uh, I don't know what's going to convince the uh, Steve Sipes that the Democratic Party are not a force for good and that they're not as bad as the Republicans because those are fascists, but they're not good either. Too many, like too many people, has like made excuses for the system as it is. Hey, is it beneficial to us that the system was as slow as it is? Because like with like the system being as slow as it is, Donald Trump was not able to like institute a lot of his all horrific plans. Uh, so I should be grateful that the system is slow that will uh, keep my fam my friends in poverty. I'm okay, moving on. Uh, America is now producing more energy than ever in its history. He has like taken more environmental actions than any president before him, uh, providing cleaner air and like water, making communities more resilient, forcing polluters to pay for the damages they had done. Uh, I like to see that happen, honestly, too. But it's like too many like uh, companies can be able to like dump like a lot of waste into like the local rivers and something like that. Uh, that like it, uh, a section of like housing in some communities is known as Cancer Row because like a lot of like the terrible chemicals get seep into like the drinking water and such. And do, and it, does Flint still not have the uh, clean drinking water? So Flint still has like, the water crisis. I uh, I don't know if like the, the if there's any change in that. I don't remember if like uh, Flint uh, still has the water problems or not because the news has not been covering it in seventy years. Anyway, continue on. He's on track to like protect more American lands and waters than any president before him, and he has like restored our global economic readership. Uh, he's positioning America to lead the future: energy independence, resilience, and uh, innovative and like and strong. Yeah, America first. I had a I, again a, like an old high school friend. We happen to be Facebook friends, even though he's conservative. Eventually, he unfriended me. Um, but when Biden got like elected, at least this friend doesn't seem to like think that like election was stolen. But all he wished from like Biden is that like Biden get to you the American first policy. I think I called that out for being white supremacy. Now, will Biden be effective white supremacist? Actually, I can see Biden being effective white supremacist. I think even like I think he, I think uh, Richard Spencer like was endorsing Biden. I wonder if Richard Spencer will endorse Kamala Harris. Again, like can Richard Spencer endorse uh, Biden in twenty twenty, because Trump was not an effective white supremacist for Richard Spencer's days. Uh, continue on. Uh, Trump's only interested in himself and his wealthy donors. No, no, there's a lot of the uh, Democrats that are like that too, like Joe Manchin. And who got rich like polluting our like country again? Joe Manchin, uh, as president, he got more than like 125 like environmental policies that have protected um, the American people from toxic pollution, uh, everywhere from like sewage plants to oil to and gas fields to our, our own homes. He pulled out uh, the Paris Climate Agreement at, at Big Oil's urgings, weakening the American's like role in the world. Okay, but uh, can I, can I just like separate this? Uh, why why what's What's wrong with some people's like feeling of inadequacies that like America is not number one? Is this the same thing with like the team sports like craze? Is how it's like you want your team to be the Super Bowl champion because you can gloat over the other people in the other cities that their teams are not the Super Bowl champions, and we're just doing this with like geopolitics. What's it with this obsession of like America being number one? Well, I guess, well, like I said earlier before, when you use the positions and powers and privileges, equality feels like uh, oppression. So it feels like oppression to even, like, patriotic liberals that if America's not number one. It for sure feels like oppression to, like, patriotic conservatives and fascists that, like, if America's not one. Again, uh, so many, like, uh, fascists hide their fascism by saying, no, I'm just a patriotic American. A lot of, like, Nazis love listening to, like, um, Rush Limbaugh. They were sad when Rush Limbaugh died. A lot of Nazis, according to, like, a Daniel Harper of, like, I Don't Speak German broadcast, 
podcast, I uh, said, no, no, they were really sad when, like, Rush Rimbaugh, like, died. Because, like, Rush Rimbaugh was able, it was convenient for the fascists to be able to do fascism, the ma- or talk about fascism, but mask it under the patriotism. Oh, no, no, I'm not a terrible, horror person that, like, has, like, regressive ideas that wants to, like, uh, bring in, um, America back to, like, terrible times in, like, the 1800s and such, or 1700s and such. No, I'm just a patriotic American that believes in traditional values. Um, that's why I kind of like questioning people that have, like, um, just American flag. Now, on social media, like, uh, on Twitter and other places, my, um, a, a profile I pick right now is the American flag, but American flag on fire. That's in, like, a protest of, like, the 4th of July. I think I should change it to, like, something else. Uh, yeah, where was I? Okay, yeah. Uh, here we go. Uh, Back to the thing. Uh, he fired scientists for like a federal agencies, replacing them with like oil and gas lobbyists who like rewrote our nation's environmental rules. And he like handed over handed oil companies twenty five billion in tax breaks. And tell, you're still working with the oil companies too. He's just not not gonna like do it as much. Uh, now Trump sets to like a uh, new big oils and other polluters at biddings again. He told oil executives he will reverse our climate progress as they'll slash their taxes once more. Uh, if they give him one billion for his campaign, oil and gas lobbyists are already drafting accepted orders for him to sign on, on day one. He wants to roll back the clean energy progress that, like Biden, have made, gut the Environmental Protection Agency, and let polluters, uh, polluters like uh, dump like dangerous like uh, PFHA. A chemicals in our waters. His MAGA analysts have tried 45 times to repeal our landmark climate law, and if they succeeded, they eliminated tens of thousands of good-paying jobs, driving up like a uh, home energy costs, and sickening thousands of Americans with like toxic pollution, and seize the uh, re- and see the race of the future to China. Uh, 